Hello and welcome everyone to yet another tech enthusiastic video from Edureka. Java is considered to be an evergreen programming language and many of the freshers and experienced candidates out there are looking for better options for their career in Java. They have a little confusion about their resume, but no worries. Today we'll discuss about Java developer resume where I'll explain you how exactly to prepare your resume. So without wasting much time, let's take a quick peek on the agenda for today's discussion. For those who are beginners, let's discuss who exactly is a Java developer. Followed by that, we shall concentrate on some important Java based frameworks which a developer is expected to be well versed with. Later, we shall discuss the job trends for Java developers in India and America. Along with that, we shall discuss the job description for both a junior as well as a senior Java developer. And most importantly, the basic skill set that a Java developer must possess. Then we shall move on to the companies which are hiring Java developers. Followed by that, we shall also look around the qualifications that you must have to become a professional Java developer. And finally, we shall look into how to frame your resume with proven results along with some sample resumes. Now, let's quickly begin with our first topic Who is a Java developer? Developers are nothing but who design and develop a particular software using a specific programming language. Similarly, a Java developer is known as a developer who designs and develops applications and softwares using Java programming language and frameworks that support Java. Now, let us move on to our next topic, which deals with the important frameworks that the Java developers need to be well versed with. Now, there are a hell number of frameworks which support Java and work with Java. Let us only discuss the crucial ones. Now, as you can see, some of the most important Java frameworks are as follows. Frameworks like Spring, Blade, Play, Maven, AWS, JavaScript, JUnit, and IDEs like IntelliJ are most importantly used in the field of Java development. So these were the few important frameworks and IDEs which are crucial. Now let us move on to our next topic where we shall discuss about the Java developer job trends. The job trends according to the years and the level of expertise can be divided into two segments, the junior Java developer and the senior one. Now let us look into the junior Java developer stats. As you can see, there is an acceptable growth found in the recent years for junior Java developers around 0 to 2 years of experience with relevant frameworks. And on the other hand, we have the senior Java developers. And the stats provided for the senior Java developers are as follows. We can see some ups and downs, yet we can also come to a conclusion that there is an acceptable growth found in the recent years for both the entry level and experience levels. Followed by that you can also see that compared to Python PHP and C sharp there is a massive requirement for developers in Java and other Java related frameworks such as angular JavaScript in both USA and India. Now let's have a survey on the requirement for Java developers compared to other leading languages like Python C sharp Ruby C++. You can see there is a massive growth for Java developers especially in America and also India followed by this. Let us discuss some salary trends in USA and India for the leading language developers. As you can see in USA the salaries for the software developers per annum are $68,963 and followed by the software developers we have the Java developer with $72,963 per annum. And similarly when we come into India we have the following stats for the software developer which have 4,1600 rupees for annum. And followed by that we have the Java developer salaries which stand top with 4,28,544 rupees for the entry level. Similarly, let us also discuss about the best countries which are offering the highest packages for Java developers. The country with the highest package for Java developers is none other than USA which offers $92,240 for an experienced candidate. Followed by that we have Switzerland, Norway, Israel, Denmark, United Kingdom, Germany, Australia, Sweden and so on. Now we shall also discuss about the salaries which the Java developers are earning according to their experience. As you can see we have 2,54,000 rupees package for an entry level candidate who has around 0 to 1 year experience. Followed by that for a 1 to 4 year experience candidate we have 4,6,000 rupees package. And similarly, the highest package with the highest years of experience, which is 10 to 20 years, is around 1 million rupees per annum. Now we shall discuss about the job description for a junior Java developer. The basic requirements for the junior Java developer in key points are as follows. Firstly, he needs to contribute in all the phases of the Java development cycles. 
followed by that he or she needs to write well designed testable and efficient codes next he or she must ensure the designs follow the specifications which are required by the end user next prepare and produce releases of software components and lastly support continuous improvement by investigating alternatives and technologies as well as presenting them for the architectural review next we shall discuss the job description of a senior java developer firstly the most crucial requirement is to analyze the client needs senior java developers work with the users and clients to determine what their needs are and then develop the appropriate software to meet those requirements as senior staff they assign the task to employees followed by this we have the next important requirement which is to design and test software once the development plan is in place senior java developers work with colleagues to design test and develop software to fulfill the project they also recommend upgrades to the existing programs as required the next important crucial role is to create plan diagrams designing a system requires a detailed plan of how each aspect of the application will work as one so senior java developers create plans and models often as flow charts that show the programmers how the code will work together as one single software followed by that we have the documentation process where the senior java developers create documentation to detail how application or systems work together to ensure they are maintained properly in the future and to help any of the upgrades which are required by the end users finally collaborate to create software senior java developers work with other computer specialists and collaborate with teams within the company to develop software they write or amend code for either standalone applications or those that access servers to create optimum systems for the business now let us discuss the skills required the basic skills that every java developer requires are expertise in java frameworks java script query css or etc the best knowledge of java design patterns and oops and designs followed by that we have testing tools such as junit and test ng next a java developer should be well versed with dbms sql and orm finally the java developers should be having an experience with javascript java applets java servlets and java beans followed by this we shall discuss the companies hiring java developers The most high-end and top-notch MNC companies such as Oracle, Accenture, Emphasis, Dell, Capgemini, CGI, and many more companies are hiring the Java developers. Followed by this, we have the educational qualifications and experience required for a Java developer. The basic professional experience required for every developer are Core Java, Advanced Java, Spring, and Angular JS. Followed by that, the most important educational qualifications which a developer needs are. a bachelor's degree in computer science or either in IT or she must have at least a BSc in computer science next the basic technical skills a java developer requires are jsp and servlets xml and json and javascript and jquery and the non technical skills required are good communication excellent soft skill he or she should be a team player along with leadership qualities and finally quick responsive attitude Now let us discuss about how to build a resume. If you are a fresher and looking for a job, then I would suggest you to go with the chronological order as it specifies your educational qualification and area of expertise. It will be easier for the recruiter to decide about your role. You might even want to include your project experience which could be an added weight. If you are an experienced candidate, then I would suggest you to take up the functional approach which directly targets the company's requirement for a specific position and you can add up your experience in the resume and this kind of approach eases the hiring up process along with this we should look into some crucial points about your resume firstly it should be concise and clear in terms of formatting followed by that keep your resume updated for experience less than 8 years the resume should be a single page not more than that The candidates who are designing the resume according to the functional approach should have experience of at least 2 or more years. Followed by that, priority of the skills should be given according to the particular job role. The next point is you have to mention your activities that were year. Followed by that, don't forget to mention your extracurricular activities. And finally, also include your achievements and hobbies. Now, let us discuss a sample resume. Here we have a resume of a senior developer. who have described her activities and job experiences according to a pie chart followed by that she has also mentioned the skills and languages known and her expertise in different levels of development so with this we come to an end of this session 
If you have any queries related to this session, then please feel free to write them in the comment section below. Till then, thank you and happy learning.